Hey, what's up, guys? It's Da Vinci, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I produce Migo by D Savage. So I started out with uh, these chords right here. When I made this beat, I was going through a bunch of uh, older FLPs I started but never finished. I picked this random one, and it was like these chords, but it wasn't exactly these. I had a, I like edited them, but yeah, I didn't know how to play piano back then, so I clicked these all in. So yeah, after that, I, the next sound I had was let's see what the next sound is. I had this pad, this little pad layer. So this is a single layer pads, ambient pad three. But yeah, same chords, just a little layer to uh, give the chord, to give the song more of a vibe. All right, so after that, this is just a layer of uh, purity, like the, <laughs> the default preset. Just copy and paste the chords right here, just for another layer. So the next sound I had was this uh bell uh bell harmonics impurity it's like a super simple plug oh super simple plug sound so none, none too crazy yeah like this beat is super this was my like first like beats so uh, i wasn't doing anything too crazy because i was literally just like beginning like when i made this but yeah so that sound i had and then i had a clap it's basic and i had this 808 i came up with weight pattern like I don't know I use the 8-way pattern in a lot of songs like around that time too like the slides and stuff and yeah this is just like this is just like a simple distort 8 way and on the 8 way I have a free limiter I had camel crusher but I don't have it on this computer so it's not loading but I put uh, R bass mono on it but yeah so that's the bass line then I had the hi-hats right here And these hi hats, uh, I I usually use this hi hat a lot. Called the, uh, I found this hi hat I liked, and I named it the Da Vinci hi hat. And I use this in Eye to Eye and Miga, and I think Thirty Nine Twenty Seven. But yeah, so that's the hi hat. So after I had all these sounds, I I had a, uh, I had the intro right here, and I was like, dang, like this is a vibe. Oops, my bad. <laughs> Man, this is, the, this is the intro I had. So this Yo, Vinci got the gold. So as you can see though, that pad I have in the background gives it a lot of energy. But yeah, after that I had this uh this wind chimes R and B sound I had. Right at the beginning of the drop. So yeah, I had that. The next sound after this was the uh the infamous or infamous uh purity cheap lead sound <laughs> and this is me playing a C to A sharp dun, dun. but yeah so I had that after that I did the kick this is just like the the rack the racks kick but uh yeah I had a uh, what I have on it I had sausage fattener and the limiter on here but I don't have it on this computer so I put this uh fat filter limiter on it but yeah this kick this kick is pretty nice, man. I, <laughs> I was really happy with how it mixed this beat at the time. And the last sound I had was this, this, uh, ob, ob horn. What's it called? Oh, no. Uh, this, uh, what is this? This ba bassoon horn in, uh, the brass and woodwind section in, uh, uh, expand too. But yeah, that's basically all the sounds I had in the beat. And this is the arrangement I had. So this is like the full structure of the beat and everything. Now I'm gonna show you what I had in the master. On the master, I just had, uh, 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 I had the clean master, RMS, and Maximus, and just a free limiter.
But yeah, guys, that's how I produced Migo by D Savage. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna have a link in bio uh, to download this instrumental for you guys to listen to or whatever. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Peace.